spoon. Like there's no um, sort of uh, like we should hang out and talk not on camera. Like we're very we get well, to the it. point. Yeah, well, as that's our lives is doing this bullshit. Do, who's your best friend? Ben. Okay, but okay, but. Mm, what do you mean? Oh. What happens when there's no pie left, as you would say? When I don't do the show anymore? What happens when his ben wife finally friends. says him or me? No, he makes money. He fucks his wife. Did he, how long do you need to fuck someone? 12 hours? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You, you can fuck every night. What it's, is your dynamic with Ben's wife? Is there any tension? We have sex. <laughs> 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 they bring me into the bed once a month. Ben is truly the only thing I care about on earth. It's, like, it's very true. Ben is the only thing I care about on earth. Literally, there's a few people in this room and you. I would watch you all burn alive. <laughs> If I knew that I could save Ben, I wouldn't even try to save any of you. To save women at the expense... No, Ben is, is my brother and best friend. I mean, Ben is the only person really in my life that I know will stay there forever because we built the thing from the ground up. Also, he has like. Stockholm Syndrome. What choice does he have? He is a beaten man that you have blackballed in the business and said if anyone he hires be, him... I know, he could be getting you out of a tub. I know, I get it. <laughs> it would be much better. It would be much better. I understand. But I don't think the fact that I work with him invalidates the friendship. Okay. This kid believed in me when no one believed I in agree. me. I agree. When you didn't, when Joe Rogan don't. didn't. Agreed. Uh, when none of you knew who I was and didn't really care, Ben thought I was really funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's very important to me because that's my whole life. So. Right, 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 right. So I guess to, to me, I'm, we were kind of talking about this earlier, of what happens when people are around, as a comedian, when people are around you, you got to surround yourself with people that challenge you. I don't think Ben does that. Um, I do think he does that. I do. I, he does it in ways that... Ben? He does it in ways that I don't think you, you may realize. Mm -hmm. Um, he just came up to you and tried, what was, I feel like I am helpful. This is, my only goal in life is to be either funny or useful. I, well, like you are one of those. <laughs> no, 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 no. Challenging me, I'm. I, I don't mean challenging. I just want Ben to, to, I want us both to connect about the things you need to say no to. Because the next two years of your life is not about what you say yes to. It's about what you fucking say no to. And a lot of people that you think are fancy are going to come up to you and try to use you to get their own clout. And the answer has to be most of your emails. Don't even fucking check the emails at this point. But most of the answers are no. And when I hear like this movie didn't sell Netflix. And I'm like, why don't you fucking call me and run this by me? I no one has failed in this business more than me. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I I number one, I think you're overestimating the interest in me. There's there's not as much interest in me as you think. It comes from the fans, which is okay with me. Right. This business yeah. that you and many others have devoted your life to is not that interested in me, and I am not that interested in it. Because it is not. I agree. I agree. What me and Ben have done is much cooler. I agree. Much more agree. interesting and, and much funner. I agree. It's much more fun yeah. to do what me and this kid have done yeah. than w what you guys had to do. I totally agree That's with you. That's just a reality. I yeah. totally agree with you. But there are going to be some other weird new opportunities that might serve you. One out of a... That you'll enjoy. You know what I mean? I do and feel... And we'll run them by you. I do. If that's what you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> we will run them by you. I, mean, I want no decision made without me BCC. We will, we will run them by you. But it's unfair to say that Ben does a challenge. Uh, that was a... I mean, it's that was a, a... It's an unfair... I agree. I agree. It's an unfair thing to say. It's definitely unfair to say that I came up in the 30s, but we're a joke here. No, no, no. I know it's a joke, but I think that like... What you misunderstand No, is I that, don't really believe that. I no, no. I'm not even saying about him. Oh. I'm saying... This world that you're living in does Which, not exist. No, but I don't live in that world. I'm podcasting every week. I understand, but you still do because it's always about that world coming in and then all the opportunities. Yeah, yeah. It's not real. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's it, Puff the Magic Drift. By the way, it's never I'm been real. You. It's everything we well, always that, did. was. But this. it isn't because you have a lot of money and you did very well in it. But it's over now. Yeah. It's over. In... <laughs> <laughs> and that's but and, here's what and I'll that's say. What it is? But but easy for you to say because you have been podcast. It is an, I'm still. I don't know why I'm frightened. <laughs> no, I, mean, I know my way around, around here. here. <laughs> the sitcom stage, Roseanne's rage, the sound here. Ma'am, you have to leave the building. <laughs> I have fifty-two assistants. 
And I always uh, am persistent that you do the masked dancer. But, I mean, look, that was at a time... Okay, I I believe... I. I came so, uh, it was so fucking hard for me to get whatever I got. I fought tooth and nail. I come from the place of you don't fucking say no to anything. You say yes to everything because that producer produces something else and is going to give you a job in two years and you say yes to fucking everything and you show up and you tap dance and you're better than everyone and you fucking prepare and you say yes to the max dancer tomorrow because yeah. then you're going to get this. Like, I feel like I'm talking to Elizabeth Holmes. I'm just <laughs> Does anyone feel like they're talking to I'm the, just saying, uh, about but bloody you, meters? You like, have to understand because I mean, it's, it's, all it's you motherfuckers that are going to cover me in the car comments with all the pizzas i uh uh i would love pizza can we eat food <laughs> yes yeah, so no we're, food we're getting we're, can you call my pizza can restaurant that sells have... babies to eat and get him a real pizza i mean i'm starving we only have adrenochrome and is babies. there anything there actually is a bunch of mac and cheese in the pantry do you want me to no 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 we're yes. good we're good no, no no we're gonna get no he about. wants to stay miserable he doesn't want you to I solve don't want the a problem bowl of mac and cheese i was promised a he, meal he wants to... i don't want a bowl of mac and cheese in the pantry it's he crazy wants, he wants to go to his pocket this is what she does she offers a thing you get a bastard version of it and when you don't and when you're not thrilled with it she's like what about thanksgiving dinner and you show up she's like it's a horseshoe and you're like what she's like stay miserable then we can make the pizza no one wants a can we put pizza. the pizza in the no one wants it <laughs> women no, don't cook anymore i about. hired a 25 year old assistant they don't cook anymore I know. they're out of the kitchen now you, you can't just look at a woman and expect her to know how to use a stove I know. she can't even f turn a stove on I this understand. is feminism at its finest i, I just want to say that i've learned a lot <laughs> on this episode but I, hold on i want to yes. say one last thing Please. because i will uh 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 our what <laughs> is that I am not fully a hundred percent. Well, yes, <laughs> and we know that, and that's okay. Which is, by the way, why it's I, okay. Which is why I didn't want to do a podcast for so long. It, I was like, I can't let people see my real personality. Right, it's okay. Everyone was like, do a podcast. When you do a podcast, throw me the fucking wolves. I didn't realize that YouTube right, was the piranha you, tank. You did convince yourself to do a podcast. No, I didn't. Everyone, I went on everyone else's podcast. I was perfectly fine being a guest for the rest of my fucking life. Right. Driving to Venice to do two this fighters. This was the version of two this. fighters one. You you turned around to somebody and went, I should do a podcast. No, I did like, not. Maybe you I should. I did not. It's She's not like, true. She's like, they keep hounding me to do not it. Not true. And everyone said, do a podcast, do a podcast. And I was like, all right, fine. And then I was like, she's crazy. It's like, yeah, no shit. That's why right. I, I only, sp I, I, I spent eight months crafting something that you'd see at the end of the year it was all together and pulled okay. together and I didn't stutter and I looked my hair was brushed now this whole thing of like I have to be on camera every week with no makeup artist so what is your last bit of part my last wisdom? part is I am not fully a hundred percent solvent the way you are which just I'm only gonna podcast forever and I don't have to all those skills that I fucking like you you were a big swimmer imagine never being able to swim again I mean like I have all these skills and they for nothing right I cry for you, and my heart bleeds. But those skills have made you good money. You have a you have a great quality of life. Yeah, aesthetically you... on the outside, <laughs> and that matters. And you've been successful in your industry, and that. But that industry is yes, it, it's kaput. But I do. <laughs> it's kaput. I mean, it's over. People in, in major movies have 50,000 Do you Instagram know followers. what it's like to be a woman doing a podcast on YouTube? It is really hurtful sometimes. It's only because people are listening. <laughs> How do I, what can I do to get my YouTube comments just a little more positive? I would suggest. <laughs> Fuck Jake Paul. No, I would suggest that really the, the honest answer, less comedy talk. Let's talk about the business. I don't feel like I do that. Well, <laughs> because people, it's not, it doesn't yeah, yeah. No, one that. No, one no, no one cares. No one cares. No one cares. No, when someone comes on, no the, one cares. I, I agree. Yes. And cancel culture, that's all anyone, people come on, they're like, no we're not to say, I'm like, we can't talk about this no again. No one, one gives a shit. But you have only people in the business on, so it inevitably steers to the business. Interesting. And no one really I cares. just want to talk about ancestral trauma. And um, no one wants that either. <laughs> no one wants it either. Here's what people want from a female podcaster. Murder stories. Anal. <laughs> Discuss anal for 30 hours a week. 
That's no. Is that? I mean, honest, I mean, that does well. I'm kidding. We either got to do that or be Christian Amon poor and be but like. But here's Hello. what it is: I came up as a comic doing dirty jokes. And was like, she's dirty. She's like that. Just became something someone liked. I did it ten years ago. People were like, mm, "She's blue." I think the show's good, good, and you're building, and you just got to keep building. That's yeah. all. Let the only criticism I ever have about any podcast, really, other than that they're not good, is that uh, <laughs> no one cares about the business of mm -hmm. comedy. No one cares about all, any of that. I they also, just want you to be funny about things. That are right. That they see. You got to fill the void that they're that the late night shows are left behind that's because right. they're so shitty right. and all that stuff. That's right. And that's why I'm a little surprised because you are such uh, a, a devotee of, of of the old system. I would be making it more of a show that has a script with puns and and, and no uh, a higher production in the sense of like. Not only just your production value is good, but like I would think you'd be doing a mini Tonight Show. That's I mean that's that what I tried be. to. Uh, there were times where we were doing like the jokes and news and all that kind of stuff, and I was just like I don't know what the fuck is. It's very hard to ascertain what's working. Here's here's why I do. Cling. Have you thought about real estate? <laughs> here's like selling real estate. I'd be a good realtor. You'd be great. I'd be a great. I can I can because I'm such a good liar and I never get to do it anymore. Um, but I would love to to do something like that. Yeah. Like to just trick people all the time. Well, I think it's a great show and I'm I'm happy always for the opportunity to be on. People, I mean, I don't... I people, don't these are epic episodes. People love them. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know what else? It's also, my thing is also filling the void that the roasts left because I think adults really do enjoy roasts and they know everyone's joking and they know everyone's okay and there's new this new thing that everyone's so fragile and no one can take a joke. Like, I think that there's also a huge void in that, especially... <laughs> A, a man like coming at a woman hard and everyone's like women are made of glass you're not allowed to say anything to us ever because it's like we're as strong as you but we're also really super fragile like which is it so it's also um that i think as well yes it is the fact that i have gone numb I, no, and I, allow you to verbally abuse me you're not for i don't verbally abuse you um <laughs> what's interesting about these these is this is generational thing we're similar ages we are right how old are you 38 I'm 36. These are similar ages. And yet, <laughs> we are coming from, we have very different experiences in the thing that we do. Yeah. You had one experience. Yeah. I'm having another experience. Yeah. And that is, you know, there's a collision there. There's a tension there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do think there's a day that you will do an, a Broadway show where you're doing a monologue or a something and you, you cuz there is a I'm not against that. Okay, yeah, there is a different less Scott Rudin producing, of course. Um <laughs> there is a level of like I did a TV show recently just as like a whatever and there is something about like everyone's here to make this magical thing. It's silly. It's like playing dress up when you're a kid. But here's why that's so great. And then because, everyone's raping each other behind you, the scenes. You don't have one Ben. You don't have any there's nothing real. It's all bullshit. If you had one Ben, if you had one I'm, person, I will. How much Ben? How much? Uh, this is. What's your price to leave Tim? I'm just curious. I, I'm okay, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna question. do it. But how much? What would be if someone came at you and was like Rogan or someone was like, I want you, I need you full time. What's your number to leave Tim Dillon? Uh, I mean. I, I want it, and the reason is, is like if Tim's done with the podcasting and everything, I'm just walking away from everything. Okay, I, you're. I like doing this with Tim and no one else. And if Ben left but my show, but let's see what happens ben when left, that offer comes in. If Ben left my show, I don't know that I'd be able to do the show. Wow. I, I would have to do something else, and that's what I'd probably call you and ask for ten of your bullshit ideas. <laughs> but you. You trying to make him laugh is my favorite. But that's thing. it's a real friendship. Yeah, and yeah. when you go, everyone's here and everyone's on crack and raping each other, <laughs> it's like nothing's real. So you're like, oh, you have something real, but you don't have 40 of it. It's like, <laughs> what? Interesting. That's what it is. Yeah. Less is actually more. Yeah. You don't need all the bullshit if you have something where you're comedically in sync with somebody and you want to make something cool. And my biggest thing about this is I, I, th it's hard. To Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> I mean, you might get some frozen pizza uh, or macaroni. I want... it, will be for, it will not be cooked. It will be 
be frozen. My thing yeah. is that if if I am doing something, as a comedian, I, going back on the road, I know exactly where I fucking stand. I tell a joke, I know if you like it, if you don't. I know the difference between a real applause break and a forced one because everyone's like proud of me and happy. To, like I know, that's what I know. I know how to uh, put something on the air and see the fucking number. Like this is a weird thing where it's like, it's, it's, it's a skill that I don't quite have yet, which is to keep going boldly in one direction with a bunch of YouTube comments yelling at you. And you're like, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep going or if this is the right direction, or do I live? You, I know not to take notes from executive. I know if an audience doesn't laugh at a joke, they're right. I don't know in the comment space who's right. The I know the numbers, that's yeah. you know, but then you see comments and you're like, if this was an audience of people in front of me, and they were all like, we don't think that's funny, I would stop doing it. The yeah, joke. Why do you read, who cares? I, I'm just saying it, like it's, it is a part of the, thing when on youtube you've got thumbs ups and thumbs downs and i think if you haven't grown up with it like i didn't really grow up I with it yeah either, me either but that's why you internalize it so much because a lot of people that have grown up with it know it's not real yeah, that's and half of the comments that are like fuck you you suck are people that if you message them back they're like hey man i'm actually a of fan course, i'm just trying course. to get it no one it doesn't really matter what matters is like are people affected positively by the shit you're doing interesting and if there's 20 people that obviously you want more but if there's people that are affected positively by yeah. what you're doing, who gives a fuck? Because it's like when you do such hot fucking takes on shit, like last week I did this whole thing about how we need billionaires and we need people like Elon Musk because there have to be incentives to do the shit. You know, like it was just like, we're mad at billionaires until they make penicillin or what, you know what I mean? Like our love. Yeah, people got mad at you with all the, 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 the uh, 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 uh -oh. fucking the communist symbol. Why am I blanking out on the this? Swastika? No, the swastika? No, the, oh, the, the flag. hammer and the sickle. The, did they send me yeah, that? Yeah, I don't know. No, but I'm just saying, so what, a bunch of people, uh, tweeted at you that you know a hammer and sickle is what i use to but get my face looking like understood this. but yes yeah, so then they got mad at you about the billions well yeah it was just kind of like a hot take and you're kind of like are people going i don't necessarily agree with that but that's an interesting thought experiment. i mean three times a week people tell me that i'm the worst thing that's ever lived i have people writing articles about me that i'm this i'm that who cares yeah that means they're listening it doesn't but matter. yeah it's one of those things where like it's my job comedy is a democracy i'm supposed to listen to people but then you're kind of i just get like lost in it and it's just like yeah, but it, it's the same shit. I mean, most of my comments, I would imagine, Think are just Ben. I feel like they're just Ben yeah, and you. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> I would want Ben. If somebody offered Ben a crazy amount of money to leave me, I would want him to take the money and then use it so the medium could do other shit. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, there's always a way... For things to, I I think that part of what you you're can doing, do your Borat, you can. Part of what you what you're doing with the comments is your finding reasons to feed the insecurity that we all have right you're looking for the reasons right if you look for it you'll find it yeah yeah if i looked for homophobia i would find it interesting if you look for misery you find it mm -hmm. that's why i'm your specialty here. yeah <laughs> but like so don't look for it uh. Don't pick it up. Like AA has a great saying, don't pick it up. Yeah, of course. It's there, just don't pick it up. Yeah. So who gives a shit? Just do what you're going to do. The 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 trade-off you make when you do anything is that people have the right to hate you. That's right. They have the right to not like it. That's right. They have the right to disagree with you. They have the right to call you names. That's the trade-off. And, and what you have the right to do and the opportunity to do is you have a platform that you can then do what you want to do, right. which is so fucking rare. Yeah. And that comes with the people that are going, well, fuck you. I don't like it. And that also comes with people that go, it's the best thing ever, and it gets me through my week. And yeah. you got to choose who, who are you listening listen to. to. Tim Dillon on Patreon. Tim J. Dillon <laughs> Don't, uh, on Twitter and Instagram. This will not get you through your week. Please, it will make uh, your week worse please, to go to uh, TimDillon.com. Tim J. Dillon My on Twitter podcast and Instagram. podcast actually me. helps you get through hard times. Follow Tim Dillon creates the hard times. All my tour dates. He is Many toxic. He is the opposite they of a mental wellness right program. WhitneyCummings.com. FakeBiz.net uh, no, RealBiz.net is WhitneyCummings.com. Actually, you can actually play my podcast in your office and not get fired. And when merch this is a me this is the opposite. Live. Do you really want to listen, play her podcast in your office? You won't get fired. You'll jump out the window. <laughs> okay, fakebiz.net. Why not a dot com? Because it's cool. It's retro. <laughs> oh my god! Don't ride elephants.